if you never do anything that reminds you how fragile you are, then how are you ever going to know how strong it is you want to become, you know? How are you going to know where you're deficient? How are you going to know what you need to be, you know? How are you going to know how to get better? You never do anything that reminds you how fragile you are. Most of us hide in our comfort zones because it is, uh, it's safe. And we don't want to do those things. Sorry, brother. Because that's how you become weak. And it doesn't matter who you are. Man, woman, child. Weakness is a sin. Vulnerability is different than weakness. This isn't about being like macho. It's about being an asset and taking care of and providing for those who are depending on you, whether they asked to depend on you or not. That's what this game's about, you know what I'm saying? So, that's got nothing to do with gender anymore. Those days are over. This game is just about being the best, the best you can be all day, every day. Relentless, every single day. It's a beautiful thing. It's the most beautiful way to live your life. When guys like us, who were built for war originally, get set loose in this nerf, nerf, childproof society. You gotta remember, the world doesn't recognize you. And if you are not careful, you'll let them put labels on you. You'll let them tell you who it is you are. You'll let them tell you that you're wounded. You'll let them tell you that you're toxic. And you're not. You've got to learn how to go inside. How to find yourself. How to keep that warrior alive. How to find a worthy battle worth giving yourself to. You gotta find your new fight, man. It's the only way to stay alive. It's not necessarily for veterans. It's for anybody who wants to be above average nowadays. Run the pill. I'm not to shut up. <laughs> Work from a place of humility. Work from a place of acknowledging your imperfection. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here because I know I have so much to work on. I have so much discipline I need. I have so much more strength I'm gonna need. God's gonna require of me. In order for me to get to where I'm going and to where I've gotta lead the people he's called me to serve. I fail myself every day. I don't love myself in that high way of discipline. You fail yourself, you fail your God, you fail your people. I'm not the biggest, I'm not the baddest, I'm not the best, I'm not the smartest, but if you keep working this way, what you start finding out is, I may not be all those things, I'm definitely not perfect, but I will be smarter, I will be harder, and I will be combat tested and hopefully my father will approve because I'm not going to let the grace that's been given me turn out to be in vain I shouldn't even be here I'm trying to make the most of this and get everyone else to do the same, you know what I'm saying let's get it let's live this day you got to ask yourself how many times I gotta tell you to do something before you do it. How many times are you gonna sit there, stare at what you know you're supposed to do, the things you know you're supposed to do, and not do them for how long? I'm talking to myself, sitting there looking in the mirror. I'm like, you know what you're supposed to be doing. How come you're not doing it? That's cowardly. That's cowardly, man. You know what you've been told to do. 
you know what you should do? How come you're not doing it? How long are you gonna have to go before you do it? Like, before any of it turned into being Marines, it's just being a man, being a self-respecting human. How long? What it is we're supposed to do. Failing to do it is cowardly. No matter what the good reasons we give ourselves are. Don't be a coward. I've been a coward. Definitely being a coward in certain areas. It's part of the human experience, but the ability to look it in the eyes and root it out, see it for what it is, that's what makes the difference because that's the way we evolve. All right, I'm gonna sprint up a few more of these hills and see what happens. Boom.